Welcome back everyone and today we are going to talk about the anatomical features of extensor digiti minimi muscle. So the extensor digiti minimi is this long slender muscle that is situated in the posterior compartment of forearm also called the extensor compartment of forearm and as you would know that there are two layers of muscles in the posterior compartment of forearm which are the superficial and deep layers of muscles so the extensor digiti minimi is one of the superficial muscles of the posterior compartment of forearm so this muscle is quite simple to explain and it originates along with other extensors of forearm through the common extensor tendon from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and then after origin the fibers of this muscle travel inferomedially along the posterior aspect of forearm towards the distal forearm where these fibers form a muscle tendon and this tendon crosses the wrist to insert onto the extensor expansion of little finger as you can see now let's talk about the actions performed by this muscle so this muscle performs a single important action and in order to learn this action we need to concentrate on the name of this muscle the extensor digiti minimi so the word extensor simply means that this muscle is an extensor and digiti minimi is for the little finger so simply this muscle extends the little finger at the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints now let's talk about the nerve supply of this muscle so the extensor digiti minimi has got its innervation from the deep branch of radial nerve also called the posterior interosseous nerve of forearm so you are having a lateral view of forearm and this nerve is the posterior interosseous nerve of forearm which arises as a deep branch from this nerve called the radial nerve while the radial nerve itself arises from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus and if we talk about the nerve roots involved in supplying the extensor digiti minimi muscle so the anterior rami of 7th and 8th cervical spinal nerves supply the extensor digiti minimi muscle so that's all about the anatomy of extensor digiti minimi muscle if you have any confusion in what we studied you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much